If you watched the last DeFi 101 episode on Maker, you now understand the granddaddy of all DeFi, MakerDAO. In this video, we're going to cover an advancement of this lending and borrowing concept in DeFi that, funny enough, reminds me of a more common reference point, pawn shops. Yes, you heard me right. We're about to discuss how two of the most sophisticated and valuable applications in DeFi lending and borrowing are actually digitized, trustless versions of a pawn shop. So here's a setup you might know if you've ever been to one of these pawn shops or watched it on TV, probably. If you put up some valuable assets and based on the market value of those assets, you can then borrow against them while paying interest on the loan. Now, all of that has changed in DeFi with Ava, Compound, and other lending platforms. In this new paradigm, you can automate these agreements using the blockchain. And in the case of Ava and Compound, that blockchain is Ethereum, and it means lenders can lend their assets and earn interest, borrowers can deposit collateral and borrow against the total value of those collected assets. Meanwhile, both parties can trust the code to enforce the payment of interest by the borrowers, which ends up being paid out to the lenders. The key takeaway here is in traditional finance, we're accustomed to going through lots of middlemen, giving away our personal information and waiting days on end to get approved for loans. But in DeFi, there's no KYC, no sign up, and no middlemen. And the process of taking out a loan or lending to earn interest takes what little time is required just to simply connect a wallet and click through some parameters on the DeFi sites like Compound and other. With DeFi platforms like these competing for liquidity, we see them competing to add more assets and therefore more choices for DeFi lenders and borrowers. And it's just a matter of time before we have under collateralized lending and this frictionless lending goes mainstream. You've been watching DeFi 101, do be sure and check out the other videos in this series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.